after 1988, the next thing that occurs is Uranus conjoins Neptune. Beyond that, all the planets passed by that Uranus and Neptune combination in that era, from 1987 to 1989, so that after 1993, all the planets were in their natural formation. In other words, the lead planet was Jupiter, followed by Saturn, followed by Uranus, followed by Neptune, followed by Pluto, and the planets hadn't been in that natural order in the sky for close to 700 years. All right, so they were reversed. Prior to the 20th century, the planets were exactly reversed. Pluto was the lead planet, followed by Neptune, followed by Uranus, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, going outwards. All right. So 1892 comes along and Pluto pass and Neptune passes Pluto, or Pluto passes Neptune, and the century goes into chaos, and we have this giant turning point, this giant fulcrum. The 20th century was a giant turn. Now we talk about Fibonacci and the rise of the Renaissance as being and the rise of reason as being the biggest thing to happen since the birth of Christ in terms of human consciousness in the Western world. But when we get to something like this, we have a whole century of a turn, a whole century of a transformation where previous to that century all the planets move in one direction, after the century they're all moving in another direction. So it accelerates after 1988. And in 1988, Neptune takes over, most of the major combinations are focused on Neptune, particularly in the last four to five years. In the last four to five, four to five years, Neptune hit the 15th degree of Aquarius. And this is a critical degree. And it's a critical degree not in the ancient sense. It's a critical degree because it ties that Neptune into the cardinal axis and makes it prevalent for all of us. It's also critical in the sense that it's the 45 to the cardinal axis. In other words, it's making a 45 degree, a 135 degree aspect to zero Capricorn, zero uh, Aries, zero Libra, and zero Cancer. This means the world. This means the world is under an illusion and a delusion. Right? The world is not clearly focused. In the meantime, while it's making this half square to the cardinal axis, clearly focused. In the meantime, while it's making this half square to the cardinal axis, Saturn hits it, Jupiter hits it, we get a whole bunch of stations of Mars, we get a whole bunch of making half squares to it, we get a whole bunch of stations of Mercury all over the place. It's a hot axis. It's a hot axis. Now, the other thing to note about these 45s and 135s of the cardinal axis is that they are manifestation. This is where events occur in reality. When 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 the Neptune goes over zero degrees Libra, or it goes over zero, de when it goes over, when it went over zero degrees uh, Capricorn, right? These were states of the world. The world was in a Neptunian state in the 30s and in the 40s, you know, when it made this giant or crossing the cardinals. But when it makes the half square, material things occur. For example, you have a client. They have Saturn conjunct their sun, right? Well, this means that basically they're internalizing Saturn and they're creating and manifesting externalized events of a Saturnine nature. However, when that Saturn makes the half square to your sun, that's when things come out of the blue and hit you. It's not internalized whatsoever. It's an externalized event. That's the day they say, oh, you gotta go to jury duty just when you're supposed to close on the house. You know, that's the day, you know, things come out of the universe and events occur that are alien. Whereas when that Saturn is coming up and making its conjunction to your sun, you are more involved in concerns with what you're going to be doing for the next seven years. Uh, did you live your life well? Do I have to move and pick everything up? You're going through these, and then you're manifesting those events to correspond to that. Realize that that conjunctions, oppositions, uh, squares, these are internalized structures that create externalized events because of your inner orientation, whereas half squares and sesquiquadrates, these create externalized events with no connection to who you are whatsoever. And it's just the outer world talking. So Neptune comes, makes the half square to the cardinal axis. We have Neptune manifest in the world itself. 
One of the great things it did was it half squared um, Kronos all through the time that it was doing that. It's going to make one more hit to Kronos and be done with it soon. We're going to be done with Kronos and Neptune. Now, I'm going to do a little 